flagship smartphones have become more expensive than ever. The Samsung Galaxy S20 starts at $1000 for the smallest version and tops out at $1400 for the S20 Ultra in US. Last year, the Galaxy S10e started at $750, the S10 was $900 and the S10 Plus was $1000, which the Galaxy S20 series is almost 30% expensive than Galaxy S10 series. The recently launched OnePlus 8 is 20% more expensive than the previous OnePlus 7 in UK. So why do you think 2020 flagship smartphones are more expensive than previous flagship phones? You may say, hey, it's because of 5G. Technically, yes, it's because of 5G. But still, there is something you need to know about. See, there is no much of a competition in SOC market. Snapdragon 865 is the best SOC available for Android smartphones in 2020. Almost every smartphone manufacturer chooses the Snapdragon 865 SOC for their flagships. Even Samsung uses Snapdragon SOC for their S-series and Note-series phones in some regions like USA and China. Even they have their own Exynos chips. With the Snapdragon 865, manufacturers are forced to also use Qualcomm's X55 5G modem since the 865 has no integrated modem on board. This means phones will need more space, a more complicated motherboard, a likely a bigger battery to accommodate everything, which also indirectly rises the price. This decision is also questionable as 5G simply isn't widespread right now, especially in traditional flagship killer markets like India. Nevertheless, this mandatory bundle wouldn't be a massive issue if the prices was kept in check, but all signs point to a dramatic price jump. It's not just the extra Snapdragon 865 hardware that is leading to higher phone costs. The space and power requirements push OEMs towards making phones even bigger than last year, which encourages bigger screens and bigger batteries. The latest leak reports both Google and LG are reportedly opting for Snapdragon 765G, a chip that is one step below the Snapdragon 865. Instead of being slightly worse in every way, the Snapdragon 765G actually wants up the Snapdragon 865 in one area. It's Qualcomm's first SOC with an integrated 5G modem. Instead of two-chip design of the 865, everything on the 765G comes in a neat single-chip package. This design lets OEMs keep the simpler one-chip SOC solution that were common in 4G phones in 2019. And in addition to directly being cheaper, this design should also help reduce costs with a smaller footprint and less power usage. That's it. Hope you found this video useful and end up liking it. If you do, please give a like and share this video. Lastly, subscribe to this channel for more informative tech videos and also turn on notifications to get notified as soon as our video goes live. Thanks a lot for watching iSpecs. Have a great day.